Whether you're grabbing a bite to eat or supermarket shopping, everybody's shelling out more cash these days. And just as we're seeing value meals return to some fast food menus, rising food and labor costs are leading many chains to also hike prices. Little Caesars raising the price of its signature hot and ready pizza for the first time in two decades, from $5 to $5.55. At Popeyes, you'll now pay a dollar more if you order the popular big box deal in person. And Domino's Pizza also looking to drive digital growth, announcing that its classic $7.99 deal will only be offered online, and you'll only get eight wings instead of 10. These cost increases are certainly uh, tough to absorb. We are taking some pricing actions, you know, this year relative to our national offers and, and our franchisees at the local level have tools to adjust their menu prices and their delivery fees. The ongoing supply chain crisis is also impacting menus. On Chick-fil-A's app, this warning to customers that some menu items may be unavailable or prepared differently. Inflation is also taking a toll on sit-down dining. Jelaine Upwin is the owner of Max Downtown in El Paso, Texas. The prices have tripled. It's, it's outrageous. Even buying the basics is a challenge. It's ridiculous that we can't go to Sam's and get ketchup because they're out of ketchup for weeks at a time. It took me two months to get straws. I couldn't get straws, individually packaged straws. I, I, I was like, what do you mean I can't get straws? The cost of eating at home is soaring. Groceries or the food at home index rose 6.5% in 2021. That's the largest year-over-year -year increase in 13 years. And many big food manufacturers, including General Mills and Campbell Soup, predict more price hikes later this month. Empty shelves and rising costs are leading to a growing demand for store brand items, less costly and sometimes more available. Until we have the pandemic behind us and until we take the steps we need to to make the supply chains resilient for the long term, we're going to continue to face issues any given month. I mean, so tell them the supply chain issues notwithstanding, labor shortages, what do we know about the effect that that might be having on the cost? Abs absolutely. You know, we're seeing millions of Americans quit their jobs during the so-called great resignation. And companies are scrambling to offer higher wages in order to staff up. Oftentimes, though, those costs get passed down to all of us who are uh, really trying to buy something, right, in the form of what we're paying, especially for restaurants where the margins are already very very, very thin. So they can't afford to eat those extra costs. As a result, you and I are going to be paying more for that burger, the taco, the soda, whatever the case may be. Don't mean to make you hungry, though, so early in the morning. Too late, Mr. Costello, <laughs> too late. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, so those are the problems. Tomorrow we'll take a look at some of the solutions as well, uh, including some money-saving tips for your next trip to the grocery store. We'll do that tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.